Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be showing a method of making a simple inverter. Now, in order to make the inverter, you obviously need a transformer and a circuit that will actually convert the DC voltage to AC voltage. I will be showing you in details how I made the circuit, what is the circuit diagram, and then after that, I will be uh, testing with this LED bulb how uh, it glows and I will be testing using this 12 volt uh, UPS battery. Before I start, uh, I must tell you that this is not a sine wave inverter. It's just a square wave inverter, which you can obviously use for uh, lighting purposes and uh, many small applications. The heart of this uh, circuit is the CD4047IC, which is a CMOS chip that we are going to use to make the uh, waveforms. The output frequency of this circuit is 50 hertz. So you can use any of these type of common transformers to step up the voltage. Now, this is obviously not a step up transformer. It is a step down transformer, but still it will work fine. Now, if you obviously want a better efficiency, then you should look for a step up transformer. Now, the difference between a step up and step down transformer is in its winding. If you want to know more details about step up and step down transformer and its design comment in the comment section i will make a separate video on that but since this video is all about the inverter circuit so i will be mostly discussing about the inverter itself the output of this cd4047 can be easily obtained using only a few components as you can see here i have used only a capacitor and a variable resistor to fine tune the output frequency which is i have set to 50 hertz now in the circuit diagram i will give you the exact value that uh, you should be using and also i will be showing how to calculate the frequency output of this cmos chip so here i have the circuit diagram that i have made in the uh, pcb now obviously the main chip here is the cd4047 which is uh, connected using the pin 10 and 11 to the gate of the mosfets now this is a push pull type configuration where we are using a center tape transformer to step up the voltage from 12 volts to 220 volts now the circuit obviously looks a very simple circuit because it uses quite a few number of components and it's very simple to make another point is that this cd4047 is quite easy to find in any electronic stores and it's very cheap now if we just take a closer look at the data sheet of this cd4047 obviously you can see this chip can handle up to 20 volts dc so it is only good for 12 volt batteries and not for the 24 volt batteries so uh, be careful when you are designing the circuit now the duty cycle could be adjusted using the monostable multivibrator features or a 50% constant duty cycle could be obtained using the S-stable multivibrator features. The frequency output of this device could be up to 100 kilohertz and uh, for our application we will be using at 50 hertz. So if you want to uh, read about these features in detail obviously you need to go through the data sheet. Then we have the pin configuration here given. Now there are multiple methods of using this chip as a multivibrator mode. The mode that we are going to use is the free running mode. So in this mode, uh, we have to connect these four uh, pin four, five, six and 14 to VDD, which is in this case 12 volt and VSS to pin seven, eight, nine and 12. Our output pulse is at 10, 11 and 13. Now here is the uh, formula to calculate the frequency in the S-stable mode. So here is the pin 13 output and then pin 10 output. Now obviously you can see the pin 13 output frequency is double than the pin 10 and in 11 as well. Now obviously pin 11 is not shown here because it's just the inverse of pin 10. The pin 13 is actually the output from the internal oscillator and pin 13 gives the internal oscillator frequency. At the pin 10 and 11 we will be getting half of the frequency at pin 13. So uh, typically when we uh, use this at 50 hertz operation the pin 13 output will be 100 hertz and pin 
10 and 11 will be giving out 50 hertz at a 50 percent duty cycle then obviously uh, you can calculate the rc value using uh, this formula which is 4.4 rc now i have made a simplified formula to calculate the frequency and the resistor and capacitor values so here is my website where i have uh, given all the details to uh, this project and if i scroll down here i have uh, written the simplified formula to calculate the frequency output so uh, in in place of this uh, frequency if we put uh, 50 and uh, if we select one of the values of uh, either resistor or capacitor we can easily calculate the value of other component so using this formula we can actually find the required value of the component now obviously if you want uh, more details about this project obviously you can uh, follow my website in the link in the description so now i will be connecting the terminal of this transformer to the inverter circuit and then i will be connecting this light bulb and after that i will be connecting with this battery to test the output So now I have connected everything uh, to the circuit except the positive terminal of the battery and which I will be connecting in a moment to show the output of the transformer. Now once I connect it the light bulb will glow at its full brightness as you can see here and obviously it's running from a 12 volt battery. Now if you want to increase the power output of this inverter then uh, you can obviously do that by putting more mosfets in parallel obviously this mosfet can uh, easily handle up to 500 600 watts of power if you use a higher power transformer now this transformer is rated at 1 amp 12 volt which means it's a 12 watt transformer so uh, using a bigger transformer you can get more output from the same circuit itself and even if you want a 2000 3000 watt inverter you can easily make that by putting more number of mosfets in parallel now for this part of the video i have uh, done the testing and demonstration of this uh, simple inverter in the next part my plan is to build a sine wave inverter obviously this inverter is good for small applications like uh, lighting and like mobile charging etc but when it comes to connecting sensitive devices and high power devices like uh, electric drill and electric saw so for that you obviously need a sine wave inverter so in the future part of this inverter build series i will be making a video on how you can make a sine wave inverter so that's all for this part of the video if you like the uh, project uh, like and subscribe to my channel a lot of people are watching the videos and they are not subscribing to channel please subscribe to my channel share it among your uh, friends and community and I hope to see you in my next video. So that's all for now. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.